Around a hundred million years ago, a tiny nocturnal mammal hides under a leaf. Just try not to get eaten. It has no idea it will become the ancestor of three strange cousins. The cheetah, the ground sloth, and the tree sloth. Two ancient branches split early. One becomes the carnivores, future cheetahs. The other becomes the xenarthrans, future sloths. After the asteroid wipes out the dinosaurs, both lineages explode into new forms. South America drifts away from Africa at the speed your fingernails grow, becoming the slowest getaway vehicle in Earth's history. On this drifting island, sloths evolve in peace. Africa becomes the land of claws, competition and speed, perfect for the cheetah lineage. By 35 million years ago, early cats developed flexible spines and spring-loaded legs in South America. Some sloths get bigger. Others shrink and adapt to tree life with curved claws and slow metabolisms. The split between ground sloths and tree sloths begins. 20 million years ago, cheetah ancestors refined retractable claws, long tails and explosive fast twitch muscles. The Formula One cars of evolution, ground sloths diversify into bear-sized and cowy sized giant's tree. Sloths perfect their low-energy stealth lifestyle. 10 million years ago, cheetahs become hyper-specialists, nearly the modern rockets we know today. Ground sloths roam the continent, and tree sloths master slow-motion survival. Two million years ago, Megatherium appears, six meters long, 20 feet tall when rearing, 4,000 kilograms of leaf-powered muscle, a gentle giant that stands like a furry tripod skyscraper. 10,000 years ago, Everything changes, cheetahs still thrive, Megatherium goes extinct, climate shifts and early humans don't help tree sloths, keep doing their weekly poop dance and falling out of trees like nothing happened. A modern tree sloth eats only a couple handfuls of leaves a day, digested over an entire month. Meanwhile, their cousin the cheetah burns thousands of calories just thinking about running. And the cheetah's modern story is complicated human farms, and villages push the world's fastest land animal into some of the slowest, emptiest hunting grounds. For thousands of years, humans captured cheetahs, trained them, traded them, and kept them as symbols of status and power. They were fast enough to hunt for kings, but never fast enough to escape human history. And today, a cheetah rests safely in a sanctuary, fed, monitored, protected. The fastest animal on land now depends on the slow, careful work of people trying to undo the damage we caused. Three cousins, one race toward extinction, one drifted through life on almost nothing at all. And one, the giant tripod skyscraper, vanished just as we arrived. Evolution gave them different speeds. But humans decided their fate. If you have an idea for another evolutionary morph, drop your suggestion below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss the next journey.